Why hello ladies and gentlemen, I have come across a problem. So whenever I try and record VR content, what tends to happen is my footage gets very jittery and it's very uncomfortable to watch. So when I spend like hours editing my footage, I, I myself get a little dizzy watching the screen jitter with every little head movement in my VR headset. But I have came across a solution to this problem and I'm sure there's people out there who also suffer from this issue. So here's some footage without stabilization. You can see the view rotates as my head tilts and then whenever I get up or move quickly, you can see the screen jittering with every little head movement I do. And for a VR game that is fast paced and your head is constantly moving, looking around, checking around corners, it's important that my footage is stabilized so it's easier to watch as a viewer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my desktop and go to Oculus Mirror located under your program files, Oculus, Support, and Oculus Diagnostics. And you're going to scroll down to Oculus Mirror and open that up. And in order for this to mirror what's on your headset, you're going to need to have your headset connected to your computer. Once you're here, you can already see just by me holding the headset in my hand, you can see how jittery every little movement already is, which can be very uncomfortable for a viewer. So, so to fix this, you want to go to Settings, scroll down to Image Stabilization, click Enabled. That already eliminates majority of the jitteriness that you get in your footage, so it, it's pretty smooth. And depending on what game you're playing, you may not want to capture the tilt of your headset, so in order to fix that, you want to go back to settings, image st stabilization, and select the keep upright option. That way, even when you're tilting your headset, it does not tilt the screen. And to even better stabilize your image, depending on what game you're playing, you can go to image stabilization, parameters, and you can change the profile from wide, narrow, and mild. Keep in mind, the smaller the profile, the more stabilized your footage is, but the less the viewer can see. Now I'm going to compare the differences in stabilized footage and unstabilized footage. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Hold on, I'm gonna go around. Got him! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found this video helpful if you're having a similar issue. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as I really enjoy making content that is not only entertaining, but also helpful in any way. As always, have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next video.